What are you doing? What in the world are you doing? Dude, what the heck is that? Don't you know that what you were doing just now is literally destroying you, man? What are Isn't technology like safe to you? Okay. Get up, get up. What are you talking about? Come with me, what? What? Yeah. Why? Everywhere we go, we see people using technology. From traffic lights to computers to, heck, even the filming of this video. Technology has become so ingrained in our lives that we use it for almost everything. Especially for us college students, technology is almost omnipresent in our daily activities. We use cars to get to school. We connect and communicate with other people through our mobile and social media devices. We use our laptops to write our assignments. We even download PowerPoint slides and watch educational videos just to understand our lessons and pass our classes. Wait, so you just explained why we use technology, right? Why it's like good for us? Yeah. So, what's the harm? Like, I don't get it. Okay. Well, um, in terms of the physics concept of EM radiation, specifically that emitted by our screens, yeah. like the one in your pocket right now, yeah. okay, let me explain. Electromagnetic radiation, as defined in the Astronomy and Physics Glossary, is, quote, energy that is propagated through free space or through a material medium in the form of electromagnetic waves, such as radio waves, visible light, and gamma rays. Our phones, radios, and even Wi-Fi release electromagnetic radiation. Although phones and laptops emit low energy radiation, they do emit blue light that is damaging to the eye. According to the Bangkok Hospital, blue light can cause eye strain, dry eyes, blurred vision, and even more harm. Blue light can also lead to worse AMD or age-related macular degeneration. Huh, it's kinda intense. Yep, that is intense. Oh yeah, and um, in terms of the physics concept of sound waves, sound waves, yep, sound waves, our phones are destroying us in more ways than one. Sound is emitted as energy when objects vibrate. This vibration is transmitted through a medium, or in most cases through the air, and carries energy to a receiver. Our headphones work by using an electromagnet to vibrate the air and transfer sound to our ears. Pediatric audiologist Brian Flieger explains that standard Apple Music players can emit about 102 decibels of sound at maximum. So just imagine, when listening to music on your AirPods at maximum volume, you are listening to sounds comparable to the volume of a leaf. Flygore adds that maintaining your volume at 70% is safe for 8 hours a day, while maintaining it at 80% is safe for about 90 minutes. Alarmingly, keeping your volume at maximum is safe for only 10 minutes. Additionally, a 2016 study in Korea analyzed data from 7,596 people and concluded that earphone use does indeed have an effect on hearing loss in the general population. In fact, as reported by the American Osteopathic Association, one in five teens will experience some form of hearing loss, partly due to the increased usage of earphones. Please, I feel awful. Like, I've been destroying my body this entire time. Okay. Yes, it's alarming, but there are ways we can actually fix this. Like how? Allow me to explain. Lessening the brightness of the phone would greatly reduce the amount of harmful blue light. The phone manufacturers built into their phones a night shift feature to reduce the amount of blue light emitted. The best solution, however, is still turning off the phone altogether. Don't forget to mute your device as well so that your sleep would be free from notifications and other alerts. Furthermore, make sure not to turn the volume all the way up. Generally, it is advised to keep the volume range of your earphones from 60-70% to 70 only. With all these, you can mitigate the harmful effects of technology while still enjoying the benefits our gadgets provide us.